From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. Cancer is a type of disease where cells grow out of control, divide and invade other tissues. With cancer, the normal process of cell division goes out of control. Cells change their nature because mutations have occurred in their genes. All the daughter cells of cancer cells are also cancerous. Let us get to know about lung cancer. Lung cancer. Symptoms of lung cancer that are in the chest. Coughing, especially if it persists or becomes intense. Pain in the chest, shoulder or back unrelated to pain from coughing. A change in color or volume of sputum. Changes in the voice or being hoarse. Harsh sounds with each breath. Recurrent lung problems such as bronchitis or pneumonia, coughing up phlegm or mucus, coughing up blood, a cough that does not go away or gets worse, chest pain that is often worse with deep breathing, coughing or laughing. If the original lung cancer has spread, a person may feel symptoms in other places in the body like lungs, lymph nodes, bones, brain, liver and adrenal glands. Symptoms elsewhere in the body, muscle wasting, fatigue, headaches, bone and joint pain, bone fractures not by injury, unsteady gait or memory loss, neck or facial swelling, blood clots, weight loss or loss of appetite, shortness of breath. Causes of lung cancer Smoking The incidence of lung cancer is strongly correlated with cigarette smoking, with about 90% of lung cancers arising as a result of tobacco use. The risk of lung cancer increases with the number of cigarettes smoked over time. Tobacco smoke contains over 4,000 chemical compounds, many of which have been shown to be cancer-causing or carcinogenic. Asbestos fibers Asbestos fibers are silicate fibers that can persist for a long time in lung tissue following exposure to asbestos. Radon gas Radon gas is a natural, chemically inert gas that is a natural decay product of uranium. It decays to form products that emit a type of ionizing radiation. Radon gas is a known cause of lung cancer. With an estimated 12% of lung cancer deaths attributable to radon gas or 15,000 to 22,000 lung cancer related deaths annually in the US. Familial predisposition. Not all smokers eventually develop lung cancer. Other factors such as individual genetic susceptibility may play a role in the causation of lung cancer. Lung disease. The presence of certain diseases of the lung, notably chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, is associated with a slightly increased risk for the development of lung cancer even after the effects of concomitant cigarette smoking are excluded. Air pollution. Air pollution from vehicles, industry and power plants can raise the likelihood of developing lung cancer. Up to 1% of lung cancer deaths are attributable to breathing populated air. Occupational exposure and pollution. Exposure to certain chemicals and substances used in several occupation and industries has been linked to a slightly higher risk of developing lung cancer. These chemicals and substances include arsenic, asbestos, beryllium, cadmium, coal and coke fumes, silica, nickel. Diagnosis Imaging tests An X-ray image of your lungs may reveal an abnormal mass or nodule. A CT scan can reveal small lesions in your lungs that might not be detected on an X-ray. Sputum cytology If you have a cough and are producing sputum, looking at the sputum under the microscope can sometimes reveal the presence of lung cancer cells. Tissue sample or biopsy. A sample of abnormal cells may be removed in a procedure called a biopsy. A biopsy sample may also be taken from lymph nodes or other areas where cancer has spread, such as your liver. Thanks for watching. This is your host, Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.